Hello everybody, this is Junior Gamer back for the final part of round one of the Gracious Grass Tournament. And yes, this was actually meant to go up last week, but as I'm sure I mentioned many times already, my computer decided to get sick, it decided to die on me, and it deleted the video I had recorded of all these four lovely matches. So unfortunately, I got to do them again. But, you know, if the last video that I recorded was anything to go by... You know, we should be in for some... Oh, oops. We should be in for some really good matches here. And let's hope that ra random number generator is good today. But anyway, without further ado, we have the, the Super Sintosaurus taking on Edmontosaurus. Super Parasaurolophus going up against Super Carifasaurus. Fukuisaurus taking on Alpha Iguanodon. And the Cartoon Sintosaurus taking on Camptosaurus. Without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which is this one. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have a Super Sintero Source. And for those of you that don't remember or are watching this or haven't watched the other Gracious Grass tournament videos, the Awaken mode will be triggered as soon as Sintero Source's health gets below half. Alright, in the blue corner we have one of the very last grass dinosaurs to be released in this game, the Edmontosaurus. Which is interesting, because Edmontosaurus is such a well-known dinosaur. You would have thought Dino the Sega would have put this thing in Dinosaur King sooner. Alright, round two. Can the Sintosaurus come from behind to win? Or can the Edmontosaurus take a 2 0 win? And it was quite the even match, and well, despite my misclick, I think the Edmontosaurus would have won anyway, so. But yeah, it was definitely a close match. Okay, back to what I was saying earlier. Yes, I have another tournament is in the works. And it will happen as soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers. Originally, I had, I had set a goal that if I was if I got there by August, I would have done it there and then, instead of waiting till next year. As like a as like a little reward. But I'm thinking because I haven't been uploading much lately, and I haven't been that active because of obviously certain circumstances and stuff such. I think it's a you know I, I'm gonna do it anyway. And don't worry, Primal Carnage support lovers. I got something planned for you guys as well. Would the term gift opening appeal to you? Okay, that's below half. That's been awakened. Yes. Would the term gift opening event appeal to you, Primal Carnage players? Look, if all goes to plan, it may not go to plan. Well, if things aren't going to plan for the Super Sentosaurus, the Awaken mode failing miserably, and here comes the Skydive. Boosh! Oh. Okay, maybe maybe, Edmon maybe Edmontosaurus wouldn't have won that first round. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, I just thought of that. Oh, that's a tie. And the Sintosaurus goes down. Um... Um... Hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Because I made that mistake in the last match, in the first matchup, I'm going to declare that matchup a draw. So that means, so, and then it'll be an all or nothing in this next match. So whoever wins this next match, if the Edmontosaurus wins, then he will go through. If the Sintosaurus wins, then we'll have another match. And then the winner of that match will go through. So let's get on with round three. Alrighty then, round three between these two. The Sintosaurus, the Super Sintosaurus, needs to win this match up to stay in the tournament. If the Edmontosaurus gets defeated, however, then we will move on to an to the to another deciding round. 
You know what's interesting? We had so many like draws in, in my fire tournament, but since then we haven't had any. Ooh, the Sentail Swords getting off the first hit. And it's a Dino Swing. But the Edmontosaurus does strike back with a crit. However, it's not enough for the Awaken Mode to be triggered. Ooh, the Sintail Saurus getting off another head. But in good for our unicorn friend. Ooh, but the Metal Wing incoming from the Edmontosaurus. Could this be the end for Sinti Super Sinteosaurus? Okay, I got it this time, I got it! <laughs> I frantically clicked those buttons to make sure I didn't miss the Awakening Mode. But it's all gonna come down to this. Oh, it's a tie! I think! Oh, I got the Sora! Hanging on by a thread! But to no avail, because Super Sinteosaurus just about... Oh, it's Revival type! I forgot! Never mind, he's still in it! The Edmontosaurus, the Revival type coming in handy. Oh, never mind. Despite the Revival, the Super Sinteosaurus gets off that 2 platoon crush and finishes off Edmontosaurus to even the score. I forgot it was revival type the Edmontosaurus, but it didn't matter in the end because the Sintosaurus still won. Alrighty then, you know what that means? It all comes down to this next round. Alrighty, um, I am going to say that in regards to that first matchup, I'm probably going to take that out. So you'll be watching and you'll be like, what the hell is he talking about? But yeah, I'm going to take that first match out. I may, I may be putting it into like a blooper at the beginning, just before the actual match begins, so yeah. These two are one apiece, and it all comes down to this. Edmontosaurus getting the first hit, and here comes an Anyang Gear Dive, along with a Sky Dive. Fan break. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> I had taken a fan break and it was quite a long one, so yeah, he didn't want to see that. Ooh, the Edmontosaurus getting off another head, but you know what that means? It's time for the Awaken Mode. And this could be just what the Sintelosaurus needs to get back in this match. Ooh, is this a one hit kill? Not so, not so there, not so well there. But it's all gonna come down to this. Oh, that's a tie. It's a tie, but the revival type coming in handy again. And oh my god, look at this. It all comes down to this. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, it's a tie! It's a tie! We have a draw! I said there haven't been a draw since the fire tournament, and we got a draw! Um, you know what that means, right? We're gonna do another matchup between these two. Alrighty then, the fourth, well, the fifth, technically the fifth installment between these two, but it's the, it'll be the fourth one. We're one apiece. The first round went to the Edmontosaurus, the second one went to Sinteosaurus, and then it was a draw. But who has enough fuel left in the tank to take that last 16 spot? The Sintailsaurus off to a good start there with a the Dino Swing. Ooh, 
team for the Edmontosaurus and is back with a crit. Get back in there though, but the Sintosaurus does have the slight lead. Oh, that's a tie. Mm, the revival type that last time out saved the Edmontosaurus from going out. It might need it again. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. The Sintosaurus gets off a triple head, but we haven't seen one of these at all. Has the Sintosaurus turned the screw on this match? It can't use the Awaken mode yet because its HP is not below half, but it might not need it. As a tie, but like last time and the time before, the Edmontosaurus will be revived, but it only activates once. And it's awakening time for Sintosaurus. Not that I think it'll need it at this point. Nope, it is a tie, a valiant effort from the Edmontosaurus, but it falls. The Super Sintosaurus, after five rounds of attritional play, has finally defeated the Edmontosaurus and has booked her place in the last 16. Well, that was a good match, wasn't it? That was a really good match. Um, a shame about the first match, you know, did make that a little blooper, and you'll see, you'll see it as I put it up. But yeah, I think in the end, the Synthiosaurus just about deserved it. But the Edmontosaurus definitely put up a fight and definitely did its part in what was an amazing spectacle. Well, the other matches got a lot to live up to now, especially this next one, a clash of supers, as we see Super Parasaurolophus take on Super Corephosaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have one of the tournament favourites, the Super Parasaurolophus. Why is it one of the tournament favourites? Because it's a gold and it's a super dinosaur. Enough said. But yes, could be one to watch in this tournament and could be a deadly dino going forward. However, in the blue corner we have another super dino, the Super Corephosaurus. Could also be one to watch in this tournament. That metal wing definitely packs a punch. And actually, I think it packs more of a punch than the superpower, which is interesting, but the superpower does have the bulk on its side. Okay, that's a five. And that, my friends, is a five as well. We start with a tie. Five, ooh, a six. The Corythosaurus gets off the first head. Not much damage dealt, though. All of its power is in that crypt. Well, most of its power is in the crypt. Whereas the power is a little bit more balanced. Here comes a neck crusher and a light recovery to follow. Big damage coming here for Corythosaurus. Not below half, however, so not enough to be awake the mode. And the nature's blessing as well to add insult to injury. Basically undoing all the damage the Corythosaurus did. Oh, that's a tie, and that will take Prefosaurus' HP below half, which means it will be able to use Awaken Mode. And you'll be using it next round. But will the power use it next round? I'm not so sure. Actually, maybe it will be, because it's a stomping hammer, so it will do some damage. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, not enough, but maybe the Sleepio Rush can change that? I just want to double check. I know, I know, I, I know it's rude. I just want to double check. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, it's not. So it's a wake and move for Crethosaurus, but not for Parasaurolophus. Just wanted to be sure. We don't want any more mishaps, do we? But it's awakening time for the Crethosaurus, so we can win this round right now. Oh, but it doesn't! It's a net crusher and a light recovery to come. A big hit from the superpower there. Stopping the Super Corythosaurus getting off a big hit. Although, it does mean that superpower will probably not need Awaken Mode to win. No, so I'm pretty confident it's going to win on its own. Ooh, or is it? A big crit from the Corythosaurus. Could have done with that last time when I was in awake mode, 
but, you know, better one crit than no crits. Oh, look at that! Even in the score, but Power Sir Oliver does have the Awaken mode, which could swing this round her way. Ooh, oh, it's game! Well, well, well. Call me a river. I counted the path Karifasaurus out, but it's turned up, turned up here. Come from behind and defeated the Super Parasaurolophus to win the first round. Well played to the helmet head. But plenty of time for the power to come back as we move on to round two. Alrighty then, round two between these grass munchers. Can the Super Karifasaurus pull off a surprise win? Or can the para Super Parasaurolophus restore some normality? The winner of this match will face Super Sinteosaurus in the last 16. I've got to mention that. Well, now I mentioned it. Ooh, good start from the Karifasaurus. A stomping hammer right off the bat. The ghost. <laughs> good start from the Karifasaurus there. Ooh. Well, the Super Parasaurolophus will be allowed to use Awaken Mode next round, but it will be on significantly low health, which means even if the even if the Parasaurolophus is damaged in Awaken Mode, it probably will still die. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, the Karifasaurus has stormed out the block, but could this Awaken Mode from the Parasaurolophus change everything? Oh, it's a tie. The superpower will mind now. Chips away at Creeposaurus's health. Five. Oh, the big one. That could be a big, big hit from the power of Sorolophus. And it might actually kill it. Yep. The Creeposaurus, in a blink of an eye, out of nowhere, has been defeated. And the Super Power Sorolophus making good use of the Awaken Mode to even the score. So you know what that means? It all comes down to this. Alright then, it all comes down to this for these two now. Which one has enough fuel left in the tank? I probably say Creefasaurus has been the more impressive one. But the Super Power has made better use of her hits. As you saw in that last match up there, two hits was all it took to kill the Creefasaurus. Actually, it wasn't really two hits, it was one. Oh, that's a tie. See, the problem, with, the problem I, I, I have with um, testing how strong the crits are for dinos in Awaken mode is the fact that pretty much all the crits for all the dinosaurs, all the super dinosaurs, are over 1,000, so there's not really much point into testing it. Nope, yeah, got it off, got it off. We saw how useful the Awaken mode was for the Paris of the last time. Can it help her this time? There's a tie. She won't find that. Oh, it's happened again! It's a neck crusher! It's a neck crusher from the Paris of I'd probably say a smash and grab there from the Super Paris of Defeating Super Karifasaurus with her Awaken mode. Wow, poor Helmet Head got absolutely crushed in the end, but a des I don't know, a an unlikely victory for the Super Parasaurus, given how the match was going. I, I felt that Super Karifasaurus was getting the hits, but Parasaurus made better use of hers, and that is why she is through to the last 16 to take on the Super Sinteosaurus. Alrighty then, on to our third matchup, which sees the Fukuisaurus taking on the Alpha Iguanodon. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the final dinosaur to appear in well the final dinosaur to appear in a capsule in season one, the Fukuisaurus. And it has its trusty Emerald Garden as it as it used it in the anime. And it also has Egg Attack as well, but we don't care about that. However, in the blue corner. We have a relative of the Fukuisaurus, well not really, but kind of, the Alpha Iguanodon. The dinosaur that hacked the DS game to give itself a fire move. 
Although, it can't really hack the arcade game, so... We can't give it fire moves, I'm afraid. But, can the Alpha Iguanodon defeat the Fukuisaurus? Well, not a bad start. There's the tie bomb. There's the damage. There's the tie bomb. Ties will favour the Iguanodon now, but Emerald Garden has been triggered. Ooh, and the Emerald Garden has been activated. The Fukuisaurus instantly gonna get back all that health it lost while stripping the Alpha Iguanodon of some of this. Okay, not all of its health, but most of it. Good start there from both sides. Ooh, despite the good start from the Alpha Iguanodon, the Fukuisaurus has struck back to take the lead. Well, to extend their lead, I should say. Because it already had the lead. And now it's about to win! The Fukuisaurus is about to go 1-0 up. In impressive style there from the Fukuisaurus. There's the egg attack incoming. <laughs> Chucking its children at the Iguanodon. And a bit of Drogio Rush for overkill. But all that doesn't matter now. What matters is the is the Fukuisaurus is one 0 up. But don't count the Alpha Iguanodon out yet. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will get off a few hits as we move on to round two. Oops. All right, then round two between these two. Can the Fukuisaurus continue to impress, or will the Alpha Iguanodon strike back? Oop, we start with a tie. Hmm, I quite favour the Fukuisaurus more. Seems to seem to take less damage. However, is a big for assault incoming and a tie bomb, and this will give a, the Alpha Iguanodon a quite a big lead. Oh yeah, massive damage there done. Although, I don't think the Alpha Iguanodon has as powerful crit as its original counterpart, which is interesting. Ooh, but the Fukuisaurus does get a hit back. However, Emerald Garden wasn't triggered, which it could have done with some Emerald Garden yes. However, I think Fukuisaurus would be happy to just get off a hit. Unfortunately, its health is so low that any hit from the Iguanodon will probably kill it, so it won't get the chance to use Emerald Garden. But, at this rate, I don't think he's gonna need it. Fukuisaurus striking back again against the Alpha Iguanodon, and yep, that's gonna be lethal, but Dromio Rush is gonna finish it off. And, impressive display from the Fukuisaurus, despite the slow start once again, to defeat the Iguanodon. The Alpha Iguanodon. Well played by the Fukuisaurus, well played. As she takes her place in the last 16. But who will join her? Who will join her in that final spot? We're going to find out as the cartoon Sinteosaurus takes on the Kanto. Alright then, bouncing into the arena. In the red corner we have the cartoon Sinteosaurus. The probably mean guy of the tournament, a lot of people's fans dislikes, and every and everyone seems to hope that this guy gets beat. Okay, I'm just gonna say, if this guy wins this it wins the tournament, I will retire from doing Dinosaur King videos. Okay? <laughs> Alright, in the blue corner, we have the Camthosaurus. Everyone hoping that Camthosaurus does him a favour and wins. And I'm sure the Camptosaurus is the most popular dinosaur right now. But can it defeat this toy? Or can the toy defeat it? Ooh, that's a good start from the Camptosaurus. Cheers from the crowd early on. A dive impressing come in. Said that weird. 
Ooh, another hit from the Camposaurus. A strong start so far. And a Thorn Whip to come. Cartoon Centaurosaurus made to look like a cartoon. Ooh, that's a tie. Cartoon Centaurosaurus finally landing some damage. And there is that Helage tie recovery type effect. Um, yeah, not those matter. The Camposaurus has taken out the Cartoon Zindosaurus with relative ease to win round one. But as we know, it's the best out of three, so the Cartoon Zindosaurus still has a chance. As we move on to round two. Boing, boing, boing. Round two. Can the Cartoon Zintaosaurus actually get a hit off this time? Or will the Camposaurus continue to camp those whip hits? Get it? Because he's, he's like camping those hits. Oh, that's a tie. No, no, there. I do believe the Camposaurus is also revival type, so if it dies in a tie, it gets to come back once. But it hasn't, hasn't even been hit yet. Cartoon Centaurosaurus just cannot get off a hit. Boosh! And oh my god, look at that. This is utter dominance from the Camposaurus. That's a tie. Could have done with a tie recovery effect there. Oh my god, the Cartoon Centaurosaurus got a hit. It's not dead and buried yet as it gets off a diving press. Actually, both of our both our combatants have diving press and a much needed light recovery. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. And that is game over for the cartoon Sintosaurus. Um, didn't last too long in this tournament. And the Camposaurus does everyone a favour and knocks it into next week. And knocks out the tournament as well. And that, my friends, will conclude round one. So we'll have a look at the matchups for, for the last 16 and end the session. Well, we got some exciting matchups for you here. We got the Shant taking on the Carifosaurus. The Para going up against Pro Sorolophus. Paris Tector taking on Sorolophus. Alpha Arano going up against Ulti Rhinus. Super Ulti Rhinus taking on Ulura Titan. Paris taking on the Mutt. Super Sinteo going up against Super Para. And Fukui Saurus taking on Camthosaurus. And yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new on subscribe, feel free to do so. And stay tuned for next time where we will do these four matches. And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out. <laughs>